Good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you for joining the talk today uh, with myself and Cheryl. Um, we're looking at having a conversation about the collaborative approach to boosting Duncan and Todd's um, customer acquisition potential with uh, the use of feedback. Um, just before we start, if, if it's not clear enough, the headsets on the, uh, on the back of the chair should make the, the audio a bit clearer uh, for everyone. Just before we start, um, we'll just give a very quick introduction to who I am and who Cheryl is uh, and, and the reason why we're here today. So, um, my name is James Heary. I'm an account executive at Reputation. I've been there for about six years now. Um, Reputation is a, a online reputation and customer experience management platform. Um, so, aggregating all customer feedback into the one central interface so that you can start to understand your strengths and weaknesses across your business, um, regardless where that feedback's been left. So whether it's in the form of reviews, social media comments, um, surveys, all of these different hosts, um, pulling it into the one central interface and then performance sentiment analysis. Um, and then over to you, Cheryl. Yeah, so I'm Cheryl Smith. I'm the group marketing manager for the Duncan & Todd group. Um, the Duncan & Todd group is um, an optical and hearing care specialist business. Um, there's three units to the business, um, re retail, manufacturing, and corporate eye care. Um, the business was set up just over 50 years ago with the primarily aim of um, delivering excellent, um, accessible eye and hearing care to the communities. Um, and those values still stand strong today. Um, being the main focus of the business um, and service and people are at the heart of everything that we do as well. Perfect. Um, well, yeah, thanks for, for joining us and there's some lovely photos in case we're not clear enough. Uh, you can't <laughs> see us through the massive crowd today. <laughs> um, so just if you could, Cheryl, would you mind just walking us through some of the challenges that Duncan and Todd Group faced over sort of the, the previous 12 months? Yeah, sure. Um, obviously, Post-pandemic, um, our customer and business patterns change, had changed quite a lot. Um, we operate in a highly competitive market for retail, um, both online and offline. Um, our customer patterns and behaviours had changed quite drastically following the pandemic. So had our business model. Um, what we were finding was um, our market town branches were performing really well, um, but our city centre ones weren't performing as well. So we had a real mix of um, branches that were over capacity and those that we needed to increase volume. Um, we also found that customers were um, taking longer to persuade to come back to get their eyes tested. Um, and they were also very service driven. You know, the, the standards of customer service had really increased. Um, we had also acquired um, a number of new branches in that time as well, so the business had effectively doubled in size. Um, so what we're finding was we'd gone from a relatively small size scale business to medium um, to large scale, um, which meant that we had to look at our resources and how we were delivering our, our services um, as well. Um, and also our competitors were having similar experiences of the changes in their customer behavior. So they were increasing their activity and they were also increasing um, their focus on service, which had always been our differentiator, whereas they might have focused on price. So they were starting to come yeah. into, into our area, if you like. So we knew we had to do something different and stronger as well. Perfect. And um, what were the impacts of those challenges on, on your particular business? Um, so for us, um, we were finding that people were becoming less loyal and they were, you know, they were shopping around, so they were being enticed um, by our competitors, whereas previously they perhaps hadn't. Um, and then also with our competitors being much more aggressive on local searches and service, we were finding we didn't have the resources to, to maintain our online presence, to maintain our online reputation. Um, we also were getting, we knew we delivered good service. We had an internal um, customer review system, but what the problem with that was, it, was not, it wasn't external. We weren't able to shout about all of the good things that we do. Um, and we were getting very, very little online feedback as well. It just wasn't something that was in our customer's um, behavior. Whereas obviously we knew that that was affecting our search engine optimization and our rankings um, as well. 
And then also with the, the cost of living crisis as well, you know, we're, we're a bit more of a premium product, so we position ourselves more um, on value and um, an advanced um, experience and product. So obviously with cost of living um, crisis, that was making people look at their spends, look at what was um, important to them. So again, we knew that we had to get across the value of investing in your eyes and your ears um, and why to pick us over the competitors as well. Yeah. You mentioned something there about, um, you know, you were getting customer reviews, but it was it was on an internal platform. So mm -hmm. they weren't sort of getting promoted anywhere publicly, but how did you sort of envisage customer feedback empowering your market and efforts? So for us, like, we knew that people came to us because of service. They knew We knew that they had a good experience. So we knew we didn't have a, a service issue. Um, but what we did have was the ability to, to tell people about that, for that to be visible um, as well. So we knew we had to strengthen that in our marketing messaging because our competitors were starting to do that. And you know, we felt that we actually deliver um, a superior experience than our competitors. It's just that we weren't shouting as loudly. It wasn't as visible um, for them. So we knew we had to change that and, and get that more visible. Um, and that's where we found reputation um, yep. for that solution. Yeah, and um, do you mind just, just diving into a little bit about your decision making about partner with reputation then? And, and, and yeah, so for us, it, w it was two things really. It was to help us keep our house in order, to be able to manage the multiple platforms that we have. We have 45 branches um, across Scotland, so it becomes very manual, very difficult to keep on top of reviews, to keep on top of your listings. Um, and then also we're just, we were really struggling to get people to go online and go onto Google and um, to leave us a review. So we were working with our teams, trying to get them to verbally ask people, but that wasn't working, that wasn't effective. You know, we needed to have a mechanic for people just to click on a link to get the email after their visit. Um, and that's where, you know, Reputation ticked all of those boxes for us. Um, also, we knew that it would give us valuable insight into our customer behavior um, and feedback as well. Yeah, and we've seen significant um, improvements immediately. I mean, we've only been partnering for about four, five months, something like yeah, that. Yeah, so we've, we've been live now since May, um, and yeah, we've seen, we've seen massive improvements. Um, our Google reviews are up 135%, which is amazing for us. Um, and that was from the very first day we switched it on, which um, yeah. I don't think we were expecting it to be quite so, quite so quick, but um, it's really been adopted um, by our customers and our business um, as well. Um, we've also um, seen our Google review go up to 4.8 um, as well, which is excellent. Um, the number of surveys are, that were being completed as well has also increased, but more importantly, our new customers have increased by 5% um, on the previous year, just in a few months, which has been amazing. So, um, But I think the other added benefit for us is really the empowerment of our teams. So it's really been embraced by our branch teams. And then of course, that's just helping to reinforce our service, to make sure that we deliver the service, to make sure that it's all working together so that we can yeah. still have that as our USP, have that as our differentiator um, as well. Mm -hmm. And we're also utilizing all of the comments, all of the feedback that come into our word clouds again to What's nice is a lot of it is reinforcing what we know or what we what we think we were doing, yeah. um, which is really good. But then we're also using key insights for development and to keep close to our customers and for innovation as well. Yeah, thanks. And obviously, you talked there about uh, the wider business in terms of like you know branch managers and and everyone uh, using the platform and, and getting a lot of value from it. But when you think from a strategic or exec level, how's the platform being used? So we now report um, all of the KPIs that, that we gather from reputation at a board level. So it's now been reported weekly. It's, it's a, key, a key KPI for the business, um, where our reputation is, how that's moving forward as well. It's now fed into um, the monthly KPIs for all the branch managers. Um, so it's very much top of the conversation now at a business level, um, which is great to yeah, see. Brilliant. And how do you see this sort of the strategy evolving over time? Um, so for us, we're already looking at what else we can do with it because, it, as I say, it got off to such a fantastic start for us. Um, 
So we're looking at what other packages we can add on, probably enhance our surveys a bit more. Because um, at the moment we're just really looking at our um, net promoter scores and our star ratings, but um, you know we'd like to get more insight into our customer behaviour and thoughts as well. So we'll be looking to increase that as well, and then also just looking into more of the correlation between our reputation score, our customer surveys, and then the business performance um, per branch. So um, really just utilising it um, to correlate our business performance there as well. We're also using it for, as I'm saying, you know, experience and product development. So, you know, it gives us really valuable insight into what our customers are, what's important to our customers. So that allows us to then make sure we're adapting and focusing on the right things. Um, it also gives us the, the power to come with a business case to say, look, this is something that we should be investing in. This is what makes us stand out. This yep. is what's important to our customers. Um, and it really does you know, help us to differentiate against our, our competitors as well. So we want to keep growing that going yeah. forward as well. Amazing. Well, what would you say the sort of key takeaways have been for yourself in the, in the four months that we've been partnering? Um, probably that we should have done it earlier, <laughs> <laughs> which would probably uh, occur. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, it's just given us, uh, you know, I think what we've been really, not surprised, but really pleased at is how our teams have really embraced it and it's really empowered them and motivated them as well. So branch managers are using it to motivate their staff. They're all becoming quite competitive, you know, looking at their league tables, where they sit with compared to their peers. Um, and you know they really, you know they really pride themselves in delivering excellent service. So it's great for them to be able to have that visibility and see it, but have it in a really um, productive and constructive way as well that they can then use to move forward as well. So that's been, you know, really really big asset of it for us as well. Perfect. Well, uh, can we put our hands together for Cheryl, by the way, please? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so we'd like to open up now to any sort of questions um, that anyone might have. Feel free, no worries if not, but yeah. No? Perfect. Let off lightly. <laughs> yeah, we must have explained everything perfectly. <laughs> um, well, look, thanks everyone for coming to the talk. Um, we are uh, exhibiting at stand F33, which is just over there. Um, so if you'd like to come over and learn a little bit more about the reputation platform, understand uh, a little bit more about how some of our other customers are working uh, using the platform sorry and the benefits that it has for them um, please feel free to join us there so thanks very much for joining everyone cheers <laughs>